So let's take some time breaking down some of the features and functions within the Itachi software and the toolbar is the interface that you'll see for that software. Now the toolbar itself is very user friendly. I can rotate it to whatever format I like that I'm most comfortable with. I can even hide it so I don't give up any real estate. The toolbar itself is very, very easy to use. Right out of the box, it's going to be populated with only a few basic tools, a few pen colors, maybe one or two types of pens, but it's all drop and drag. So if there's a tool that I like, that I find myself using all the time, don't spend those extra few clicks looking for it. With your mouse on your computer, simply drop and drag, whatever that might be, right onto the toolbar. Conversely, the toolbar works the same way. If there's a feature on the toolbar that I no longer use, I can drop and drag it and remove it from my toolbar. Now, some of the tools that are available within our toolbar is several different brushes and pens that we can use. And all of these different pens and brushes can be used in a variety of different pen colors available within our pen palette. Now, as we go through some of the pens, I'm going to talk about briefly how they work. For instance, I have a basic pen. You'll always know what tool you've chosen. In the upper right-hand corner, it briefly tells you what tool you've chosen. You'll also notice whatever tool you choose, the background of it turns yellow, so you never get lost. So the first pen we have is called the normal pen, and the normal pen really is dependent on your own handwriting. Whatever you draw, that's what you're stuck with. But let's say you want help with some of those shapes. I can grab this pen called the IntelliPen. This pen is much smarter than me and obviously a better artist than I am because it helps me with all those shapes as long as I connect the ends of them. It will also help me draw an arrow, for instance. This is the paintbrush pen. I'm going to bring a new color in and a new page. So as we talk about colors, if I look at the properties, this is my palette of all the different colors available for all my different pens. But when I use the paintbrush, I like to use some of these fun colors because it gives me a lot of creativity. It's almost like using a brush. You'll notice it's thin and thick, giving the artist in you plenty of tools to color with. The next pen we're going to spend some time with is not even on my toolbar, but if I go and look at my tools, all the different pens, I'm going to grab this pen called the pointer pen. The pointer pen, if you think about it, is really like using a laser pointer. Whenever I touch the screen, I can annotate and highlight. But the next time I touch the screen, the previous annotation goes away. I also have the ability to just tap the screen and it creates a yellow arrow, always drawing my audience's attention where I'd like it to be.